back to the cup theory. The cup theory is this. A cup is a cup. How does that translate? A rising block is a rising block. There's different cups for different beverages. There's different uh, forms of rising block for different situations. So I get a teacup, I have a coffee mug, I have a beer stein, I have a wine glass, I have a flute. You have all these different types of cups or uh, variations of, <laughs> variations of, you know? Um, there's no one way to do something. So I'm standing here, he throws a punch at me, and I go, hey -ya! hey -ya! That unrealistic bullshit. Fighting doesn't happen that way. If I go like that, I get, hey -ya! What do you think? Ha! Ah! to dealing with the upper level extremities we go over right they outside arcing go over and wrap fights over if he my timing's off he takes his hand back I'm still attached roundhouse to my head I get underneath rising black motion you understand? Just getting in, clenching. I don't care if you play and switch, and then eventually going. And this, he throws a punch, and I go and grab it, and he'll pull me. But it's the same exact thing. You know what I'm saying? Same exact thing. I just transfer it to this hand instantly. Then he pulls. Same exact shit. And that's when I go like this. Uh, yeah, right. But you can use a rising block. You can use it. But I just go like that because I like fucking with people's minds and fucking their ribs up. Watch this. I'm gonna give you the deeper secrets. Right? When I go like this, boom. That space I can fit in. Right. See it? That's why. He's like this. See it? This is where my rising block comes in. When it's tight to part to part it. Right. You see it? But so for practice, more of a wedge yes, for constant practice, go with the rising block. So it's there, so you get accustomed to it. If he's trying to close it up, which nobody will, he'll reach out. He gives me the space to be able to go. Boom. Boom. I always have the space. But when he's trying to close it up, it, it gives it to me. Super low right now. And then Caesar's arm. <clears throat> oh, oh. There you go. different types of cups or uh, variations of, <laughs> variations of, you know, um, there's no one way to do something. That is the realistic, pragmatic use of a rising block motion. I throw up the quotes because people call it a rising block. Okay does not mean block. But, uh, so word association, we say rising block. Just the motion that addresses certain things and 
satisfies the basic universal principle of technique interpretation and pragmatic usage, which is the first action or combination of action you execute should have the ability and or probability of neutralizing the opponent's ability to continue to fight or immobilize the opponent entirely. This action does that. Instead of punch me! <laughs>